Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. What is BPH, or benign prostatic hyperplasia? Well, it really means enlargement of the prostate gland, which accompanies the normal aging process to a very large degree. And of course, the major symptoms are when the prostate enlarges that it restricts urine flow. And so men often have urgency. They feel like they have to urinate more often. And they have hesitancy, which means they have trouble initiating urination. And then they have frequent urination because they're not totally voiding all the urine out of the bladder, so they seem to have to go all the time. And then they're woken up frequently through the night. They have to get up a few times through the night to go and urinate because there's incomplete voiding of the bladder. And one of the earliest signs is often just the urine stream starts to get weaker. So it's a very common problem. About 50% of men by age 50 already have some prostate enlargement. And by 80 years old, at least 75% of men have prostate enlargement. Some reports say up to 90% of men. And in 40 to 50% of those cases, it becomes clinically significant enough that men go seeking medical treatment from healthcare professionals, and sometimes they need procedures to be done. So what causes benign prostatic hyperplasia? Well, there's different uh, thoughts around it. One of the main things is that after the age of 40, the, the prostate gland converts more testosterone into a more dangerous type of testosterone called DHT or dihydrotestosterone. The DHT as it builds up causes prostate cells to divide at a faster rate so you end up with a larger number of prostate cells and so the prostate gland is enlarging. When it does that it, it tends to squeeze off the ability for urine to flow through the urethra and so urine stream is interrupted. The other thing is that as men get older, they sometimes gain more abdominal fat, and when fat cells get larger, they make more estrogen. And the estrogen slows down the breakdown of DHT in the prostate gland. And so then DHT can build up more easily. So a buildup of dihydrotestosterone seems to be a, a big part of it, from increased synthesis and slowing the breakdown. So the pharmaceutical companies have made drugs that try to address this. They have uh, drugs like Proscar and Avidart, which block the enzyme that converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. They also have drugs that will relax the muscular coat around the neck of the bladder and the prostate. If you relax that muscular coat, it's easier for the urine to flow. So drugs like Flomax have that effect. But you, what, what most men don't realize is that there are some natural dietary and supplementation uh, agents that are really have been shown clinically to help prevent benign prostatic hyperplasia and to reverse mild to moderate cases. And many of those nutrients have very important effects on preventing prostate cancer. This is important because prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in men in this part of the world. And those dietary factors in those supplements have fewer side effects than the drugs. And they have these anti-cancer properties that are really important for the prevention of prostate gland. And they've been shown in clinical studies, as I've said, to actually reverse mild to moderate benign prostatic hyperplasia. And so they really are invaluable to know about. In fact, all men should know this information. The problem is that most medical doctors don't get a lot of nutrition training in medical school. They don't stay current with sort of supplementation research. So a lot of men have never really been shown this information. And surprisingly, the Prostate Cancer Society even during the month of November when they have the big campaign for prostate awareness, which is a great campaign. Men should have a PSA test done to look for early signs of prostate cancer. But along the same lines as you're looking for early detection, men should be taught how to reduce the likelihood of prostate problems occurring in the first place. And that often is missing from the story. Most of that prevention actually lies in the area of nutrition and lifestyle factors and supplementation. So what I've done is I've created an ebook that you should download right now. It's available right here. It's called Natural Remedies for Prostate Enlargement, BPH, Prostatitis, and Prostate Cancer Prevention. So that's Natural Remedies for Prostate Enlargement, known as BPH, Prostatitis, and Prostate Cancer Prevention. All men should read this. It's vital information to know how to support your prostate gland throughout all of adult life and how you can have these nutritional factors helping you even reverse enlarged prostate. So please download it right now. Now machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, other articles I've written, uh, uh, videos that I've created for you, uh, footage from my live professional seminars, other resources that I have there that are designed to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. And so all the research review papers, all my teaching materials have all the scientific references in them so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. 
So you should really make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.